In these troubled times, it seems that we need to reach out to people who might be able to give us some assistance as to why we're feeling the way we are. It's nice to have Vernon Sankey and Katie Lockwood with me who have written a book called The Way, and uh, and and they are visiting us from the UK. Uh, Vernon and Katie, nice to have you here. Vernon, where are you exactly? Well, uh, yes, I'm in a pla little place, little village called Littlewick Green. It's not far from Windsor, which you probably would have heard of. Sounds very romantic. And Katie? I'm in the countryside in Buckinghamshire. So, uh, oh, wonderful. I English here. <laughs> wonderful. So let's talk a little bit about the way and, and, the, and the mission of the way. Is at, at a time when we're all suffering from kind of being locked in our houses because of this COVID-19 situation, it seems that many of us are reaching uh, spiritually to something to, to help us cope with this. Vernon, how can we deal with this uh, in this moment of, of need? Yeah, I, th I think what people are forgetting is that everything that's happening right now is a result of our own thinking. So the external world is a reflection of the internal world. So everything that you see around you is a thought. It, it was somebody's thought somewhere. So what's happening with COVID-19 is exactly a reflection of our own actions. So if we have um, a pandemic and we have epidemics around the world, they are the result of our trying to interfere with nature. They are, with, our, with, our, with a travel that we have, we see a, a very rapid expansion across the world. And the fact that we are not sharing is indicative that we see ourselves as separate individuals. We don't see ourselves as connected, and yet we are connected. So the result is that we have dysfunctionality, we have a lack of sharing, we have a lack of transparency, people were hiding the truth, and as a result of that, of course, people are extremely worried. This book happens to be, I mean, it's purely by chance, but it's happened to, to arrive right now. But if you read it, and even on page four, four I was rereading it now, we talk about the risk of pandemics, because all the things that are happening to us are the result of actions we've taken. And if we have pollution around the place, if we have, if we have polluted oceans, it's because we have chosen to prefer to have cheap, inexpensive plastic goods that we throw away indiscriminately. And the result of that is that we have a polluted ocean. Right, well, let, me stop you, let me stop you there because now I'm feeling guilty. So Katie, help me to, to, to feel uh, not as guilty, but how do I change that guilty feeling to, to actually making myself feel better about the situation that I'm in? I think we can look at this in two aspects. It's either from fear or it's from faith. And really looking at it in a, in a way that we need to be accountable in these times and we need to work together. We're all in this together, whether we like it or not. And this virus is actually showing us how interconnected we are as a species, um, how something can happen over one side of the world and it can deeply reflect and impact everybody else on in every part of the world. So it really does show how connected we are as a as human race. So this, this surprises me, Vernon, quite a bit that we have suddenly realized that something that started at perhaps in a marketplace in China is affecting me in Los Angeles. It's affecting you in the UK. It's affecting people all over the world all at the same time. It's almost overwhelming. How do I deal? Well, it, I mean, we, we have to go back to change the way our thinking. The problem is at the moment, we, we tinker around with the external environment. We tinker around with things and we expect to see a different result, but we never get a different result. In fact, it gets worse. Mm -hmm. So if you talk, you know, if, we, if we're frightened of other people, which we are because we think we're not connected, we build bigger and bigger weapons. So we're building bigger and bigger capabilities to destroy ourselves. And we're really sort of rearranging the deck chairs on the Titanic. <laughs> what we need to do is shift to another boat, which is, We've got to think differently. We are all part of the same universe, whether we like it or not. We're part of nature. We're part of nature. When we destroy nature, we are actually destroying ourselves. So the thing that happens on a, in a marketplace in, in, in China is because we're very greedy and we want to, to, to have the benefits, apparent benefits of this poor little animal scales. Mm -hmm. But as a result of that, a, a virus... Um, jumps into a human being, the human being then passes it across the world. And the virus is delighted to have a host like the human being because it's, it's global. So it makes itself extremely accessible and it's very contagious, even though it's not actually as virulent 
as many other of the viruses. But oh, all of these epidemics we've had have come from this phenomenon. All right. So in this final minute that we have here together, uh, Katie, would you tell me what message, the over, overriding message of the way is your book? What will I gain from reading it? Hopefully you'll gain some inner peace. Um, it helps you to be really self-reflective. And, and these times that are pushing us to be more connected, to be more still, you know, we live very noisy, busy lives. We hardly have a time to actually think about things, to ask those big questions of why we're here, who we are, you know, what, what is all of this about? So it really gives us a time to be still and to really think about ourselves and our purpose and the meaning of all of this. Well, Vernon Sankey, uh, Katie Lockwood, the book is called The Way. Uh, it's it's a definite read for now, for these times. You can you can find that book, of course, on, on Amazon, I assume, and everywhere else that you can find it. But uh, I highly recommend it and appreciate both of you for being here. Be safe, be well, and we'll talk again soon. <laughs>